What's up Yarny Box Crocheters? Today I have a super cute low sew baby turtle pattern for you. There's two different ways of doing this shell and I would rate this an advanced beginner pattern. If you know the basics of crochet, grab your hook, grab some yarn, and let's get started. I used a weight 6 yarn in this tutorial with a 55 millimeter hook, but you can use any yarn as long as your hook size is about 2 or 3 sizes smaller than the yarn calls for. So grab the color that you'd like the body to be. That's the edges of the feet and the head. And make a magic ring and put 8 single crochets in there. Close the ring tight. Grab your stitch marker and mark the last stitch that we did. Round two is going to be eight increases around the circle, so that gives us a total of 16 stitches. Don't forget to move your stitch marker at the end of the row. Now for rounds three to four, that's two rounds, we're gonna be doing 16 single crochets around the circle. I'm gonna speed up this portion and I'll meet you back once you've done two rounds. Move your stitch marker and round five is going to be two single crochets with a decrease. You're going to do that four times and you're going to have a total of 12 stitches at the end of the round. So move your stitch marker and the next round is going to be 12 single crochets around the circle. Round seven is two single crochet decrease. We're gonna do that three times and end up with a total of nine stitches. Row eight is going to be nine single crochet. At this point, you can stuff the leg if you'd like, or you can wait until the end. The only thing that's important is to make sure that you only stuff the first four or five rows. You want the foot to be nice and chonky looking, but you don't want to stuff the entire leg. You want most of the leg part to be uh, pretty flat. That's gonna help it lay against the body properly at the end when we're all done. So at the end of this row, it's actually gonna be a color change. So color change however you like best. I like to do it where I'm halfway through a single crochet and then I pull the new color through. And rounds nine to 10, which is two rounds, is going to be nine single crochets.
And that's it for the leg. So to close the leg, we're going to be single crocheting through both sides. So just poke your hook through both of the sides and make a single crochet to close the leg. And the important thing here is to make sure there is four stitches that close the leg. This is a no sew pattern, so we're going to be attaching these on with single crochets. And then cut your yarn, and you don't need to leave a long tail here because we're not gonna be sewing it on. You're gonna wanna make two legs. And now it's time for the arm, so go ahead and grab your body color again and make a magic ring. We're gonna be putting six single crochets in this magic ring. So once you've pulled the ring shut and marked your stitch, round two is going to be six increases for a total of 12 stitches. Rounds three to four, which is two rounds, is 12 single crochets around the circle. Round five is two single crochet decrease. We're gonna do that three times for a total of nine stitches. And row six is nine single crochets around the circle. So round seven is one single crochet decrease. You're gonna do that three times and end up with six stitches. At the end of this round is going to be another color change, so change the color to white. And I'm just securing it in place with a single crochet and then I'm going to stuff the arm now. Same thing with the arms, only stuff the first couple rows so that the arm piece has a chonky little hand but the most of the arm is flat. Now rows eight to nine, which is two rounds, are six single crochets around. So I'll speed this up and I'll meet you back when we're done. So we're single crocheting across both rows to close the arm, just like we did with the leg you're gonna want three stitches in total that closes the arm. That's one, two, and 
three stitches to close it, and then cut the yarn, fasten off, and you don't need to leave a long tail. Make two arms. Now it's time to make the body. So in a magic ring, place six single crochets. And we're using the main body color again for this part. Then mark your stitch. And the next round is going to be six increases and that will give us 12 stitches at the end of the round. Round three is going to be a single crochet increase. We're gonna do that six times and end up with 18 stitches. So don't forget to move your stitch marker over and then round four is going to be two single crochet increase. We're gonna do that six times and end up with 24 stitches. Round five is three single crochet increase. We're gonna do that six times and end up with 30 stitches. And this is gonna be the last row of increasing for the body. Round six is going to be 30 single crochet around, and at the end of this round, we're going to do a color change. So change the color to white once you're done the 30 single crochet. All right, so we completed that round and now we're going to make a color change. Once you're done your color change, you're going to do two rounds of 30 single crochets in the white color. I'm gonna speed up this part and I'll meet you back once we're done. So now that we've done those two rounds, it's time to attach the legs onto the body. So grab your legs.
And we're gonna start off by making five single crochets on the body. And then grab your leg and we're going to be putting a single crochet through the leg and also the body to stitch them together. So see how both are on my hook and I'm just making a single crochet to secure them on. And we're gonna do four of these and that should give us four stitches right across the leg. And for the tail, you can uh, tuck it away and you can weave it in right now or you can weave it in a little bit later, whatever you prefer. I absolutely hate weaving in my ends, so I'm probably just gonna leave that for later. <laughs> and then you're gonna make 12 single crochets. Once you've done 12, we're gonna take the next leg and stitch it on with the four single crochets that are on the leg. Same deal with the tail. You can weave it in now or you can procrastinate because it's the worst part about crocheting, I would argue. <laughs> Once you've done the four single crochets to secure the leg on, we're going to make five single crochets to get back to the stitch marker. Now for the next two rounds, we're just gonna be doing a single crochet all the way around the circle, and that's gonna be two rounds of 30 single crochet. I will meet you back once we're done that. So the next round is going to be the first round of decreasing for the body. We're going to make three single crochet and a decrease and repeat that six times for a total of 24 stitches. Round 13 is 24 single crochets around the circle. The next round is going to be two single crochet decrease for a total of 18 stitches. And the next round is going to be 18 single crochet around. And now it's time to stuff the body, so grab some stuffing, fluff it up with your fingers, and then plop it in there. 
and just make sure you put a lot of stuffing in the base area so that it really shapes out his belly and gives him a nice little chonky gut. It is a baby turtle after all. They've got to have some kind of chonky belly. And from now on, just remember you're going to be stuffing as you work. So uh, whenever you feel like it's time to keep stuffing the body, just go ahead and put some more stuffing in. Round 16 is one single crochet decrease six times for a total of 12 stitches. The next round we're going to be attaching the arms. So same thing as the legs, grab your arms. And to begin, make three single crochets. And then with the arm, make three single crochets to attach it to the body. Once you've done those, make another three single crochet. And then grab your next arm and make three single crochet to get back to the stitch marker. Now we're going to be changing the color back to green to make the head. So make a little color change here. And the next round is going to be 12 single crochets around. So we're going to start increasing to make the head. The next round is going to be a single crochet increase. Do that six times for a total of 18 stitches. The next round is going to be two single crochet increase. Repeat that six times for a total of 24 stitches.
The next round is the last one with increases. So make three single crochet increase for six times and you're gonna have 30 stitches at the end. The next five rounds of the turtle, which is rounds 22 to 26, is going to be 30 single crochet. I'm going to speed up this part and I'll meet you back once we're done. Now it's time to start decreasing. So make three single crochet decrease for six times and you're gonna have a total of 24 stitches. At the end of this round, we're gonna put in the eyes. So grab your safety eyes. I use 20 millimeter, but you can make them as big or small as you want. You could even embroider the eyes on or you could use felt eyes. Just make sure you're putting them on the opposite side of the color change. I placed my eyes at rounds 23 to 24, or that's about four stitches down from the head but you can really place yours wherever you'd like. I make mine about five visible stitches apart. Once you're happy with the placement, go ahead and pop the backs on and embroider a smile if you'd like. You could also put blush on him or whatever other sort of face details that you'd like. Now that our baby turtle is smiling, it's time to go to round 28, which is two single crochet decrease six times for a total of 18 stitches. I'm gonna stuff the head at the end of this round. Make sure you stuff his neck really well because nobody likes a floppy head. And then from here on out, just stuff the head as you go.
rounds 29 is going to be one single crochet decrease six times for a total of 12 stitches. This is the very last row of the body, so it's six decreases, and then you can uh, go ahead and fill up the head as much as you want with stuffing, and sew the hole shut. Now it's time to make the shell. So make a magic ring and put eight single crochets in there. Once you pull the ring tight, don't forget to mark your stitch. I did not, but I counted. <laughs> So make eight increases and you're going to have 16 stitches at the end of this round. And then mark the last stitch that you did. And the next round is one single crochet increase eight times for a total of 24 stitches. Round four is two single crochet increase eight times for a total of 32 stitches. Round five is going to be three single crochet increase for a total of 40 stitches. Round six is the last round of increasing, so that's gonna be four single crochet increase, eight times for a total of 48 stitches.
The next four rounds, rounds seven to 10, is going to be 48 single crochet for each round. And then at the end of these four rounds, I'm gonna show you the two different ways that you can make the shell. All right, so now that we're done those four rounds, I'm gonna show you there's two different ways to finish off the shell. So the first way here is the more basic way. It's just a plain single crochet around in the front loop only. This one is a wavy edge, so it's going to be half double crochets and slip stitches. So pick which one you wanna do. I'm gonna show you here first the regular way. And again, it's just a single crochet in the front loop only all the way around. And then the second way, which is the way that I'm gonna do for this turtle, is three half double crochets in the front loop only of the next stitch. And all those half double crochets are in the same stitch. And then in the next stitch is a slip stitch. So that's three half double crochets in one stitch, slip stitch. And you just do that all the way around. It's gonna be a total of 24 and uh, make sure you're only doing this in the front loop. That's really important. Either way you do the uh, shell, make sure it's only in the front loop. And then once you get to the end, uh, I like to do a decrease just to make sure that the wavy edges are really close together and there's not some little gap, but you don't have to do that. The next round is going to be 48 single crochets in the back loop only. So if you turn it over, you can see a little bit of a ridge there. That's where we're gonna be doing the single crochets. So if you fold the wavy bit over, it's really clear of where the back loop is. So finally got my hook in there, but uh, just fold over the edge and then kind of turn it towards you and they stick out a little bit more. And that's going to pop the edge of the shell out and make sure it's really pronounced.
so this is going to be a color change at the end of the round. So grab the white color and pop it in there. And now we're going to be doing two single crochet decrease 12 times for a total of 36 stitches. The very last round is one single crochet decrease and you're going to have a total of 24 stitches at the end. So now that we're at the end, make sure you have a pretty long tail and cut it off and fasten off and then you can stuff the shell. Don't stuff it too much because you don't want it to stick really far off the back, but stuff it pretty well. And then you can take your turtle and flip him over to the back side. And now I like to line up the color change of the shell with the color change of the body so that is a little bit more hidden. And I like to secure this on with bobby pins. You can use any type of method you'd like to secure it on before you sew or you can just hold it as you sew. But I find bobby pins to be really easy. I already have them around the house and they stick in both sides really well. And now you're gonna sew it on. So just put one stitch through the body and then one stitch through the edge of the shell. I know this is kind of hard to see, but just go slowly and take your time. Make sure everything is symmetrical as you're sewing it on. And now an option is to embroider lines on the belly and that kind of gives it more of a shell look. So just pop in uh, the color that you'd like, either the shell color or the body color. And I like to do four lines down the body. And each one is a tiny bit wider than the last one. And there you have it, you're all done, your baby turtle. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.